In early 2009, Peter Ferrara wrote a Wall Street Journal article comparing Obama's economic policies with those of Rinaldus Magnus, Ferrara's old boss. And he concluded that Obama's policies were the opposite of Reagan's and would lead to opposite results. Well, two years later, in Forbes, Ferrara now writes that prediction seems to be on track. When Reagan's presidency began, unemployment soared to 10.8 percent, three points higher than the 7.8 percent unemployment rate at the start of Obama's regime. Reagan inherited double-digit inflation, 13.5 percent, double-digit interest rates, 21.5 percent. That was in 1980. But Reagan cut taxes, cut spending, instituted a strong dollar monetary policy, deregulated key sectors of the economy like energy. The result was the largest economic expansion in history, 94 straight months of growth. 20 million new jobs are created. Obama, on the other hand, has raised taxes and wants to raise them further. His spending's out of control. He's grown the size of government exponentially. His increasing the money supply has led to a steadily collapsing dollar, and he's added layers of new regulation to American businesses. Obama's tax increases won't fully hit until 2013. But in his short time in orifice, we have sustained high unemployment, a sluggish economy, and increasing poverty. Ferrara lays out the case with reams of stats. The verdict is inarguable. Reagan policies led to prosperity. Obama's are leading us to disaster. So let's stop all this talk about Obama being unbeatable. He is ripe for the taking.